large eukaryotic cells can ingest small prokaryotic cells seen here. If a bacteria binds to say a receptor on the cell membrane surface, the cell membrane can form a pocket which will then pinch off forming an internal membrane bag known as a vesicle with the microbe inside. This is known as endocytosis and from this point then the microbe can be digested. Eukaryotic cells possess bags of digestive enzymes in an acidic juice called lysosomes and when these fuse to the vesicle they can then break the microbe apart. Through this process large eukaryotic cells can engulf and digest small prokaryotic cells. It is possible however for a bacterium which has been engulfed to evade digestion. Some microbes which are parasitic achieve this and thus are able to infect a host cell. On rare occasions another process can occur where the small prokaryotic cell then lives inside its host and in what is known as endosymbiosis there is a symbiotic relationship in which both cells benefit the small prokaryotic cell inside the large eukaryotic cell. It is known that this occurs from time to time and in nature there are a number of examples of endosymbiosis where larger cells have smaller cells living inside them.